And putting on their lab coats today to be love doctor professionals. Uh, myself, Zero, we got E over here, and Midday Mandy filling in for the out Amy today as the uh, the love doctor extraordinaire. Are you up for the challenge? Oh, so ready. Let's do it on a Monday. <laughs> All right. Love doctors, love doctors, you are the love gurus. I'm wondering if this is something that I should be frustrated about. My boyfriend and I moved together a few weeks ago. We moved in, and after dating for a year, one thing that I've noticed about him that's really bothering me is he wears the same thing every night as pajamas for an entire Entire week. Now, it is just gym shorts and the same T-shirt over and over again, but I just feel like that's so filthy that he wears the same thing to bed every single night, even when we're intimate. He will wear it for at least a week before <laughs> washing it. Am I right to tell him I think that's gross? Oh, wow. Okay, so... I mean, I'm not the best person because I will go three days before, like, okay. that's a fine <laughs> washing number. my yeah. bed sheets. Yeah. Well, not bed sheets, but your PJs. Yeah. But it's like, it also depends on what your PJs are. Are they, like, light and loose and stuff like that? I feel like you're not a sweaty person. Well, most aren't. Some people while you're sleeping. are immensely sweaty. Yeah. Some if you're are. sweaty, then it's a one a day or you got to find a PJ for every single day. And then I would say, yes, like, just bring it up. Like, hey. You're more attractive to me when you wear new PJs every night. <laughs> when it doesn't smell like sweat. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Or intimacy, is that, is that what you yeah. Yeah. like? Me, at that point, I want a different one. Other than that, until it got to that point, I was applauding this man's efficiency. Like, he cares about your laundry baskets yes. and wants to uh, stay efficient, and I appreciate that. Well, that's a good angle, too. Yeah. I, honestly, I wasn't actually that bothered about it until the whole intimacy thing. That part was gross to me. Yeah. That part bothered Honestly, me. Honestly, yeah. Didn't like that. Love doctors, love doctors. You are the love gurus. I'm absolutely dreading Valentine's Day. My boyfriend does the same thing every year. A box of chocolates, red roses. I hate to be ungrateful and appreciate the thought, but I really can't stand just knowing what I'm going to get every Valentine's Day. How do I tell him after this many years I want something that has a little bit more thought to it? Oh, gosh. Okay, because it's like I love flowers and chocolates, so... Mm -hmm. But also knowing that that's what he gets every year and maybe it just mm -hmm. to you seems like something that's just like a like plug and play and not a lot of thought put into it. Um, Correct. Maybe it's you saying something along the lines of like, I'd like to do something different this year. Do you want to and like bring up an idea, like go to this fancy restaurant we've never been to before mm -hmm. or... <laughs> If you're in Fargo, I guess you can't really stargaze. That's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, winter sky is not really good for the stargazing, yeah. actually. Yeah. You don't really see much. That was a good one out of nowhere, though. That was out of left field. Like, like you just stargaze? went from restaurant to stargazing. Yeah, I'm just I trying to think of that. other ideas. That was yeah. nice. That was nice. <laughs> Thank you. Dear Midday Mandy's husband, yeah. I think she wants to go stargazing. <laughs> what does she End want note. for Valentine's Day? <laughs> telescope. <laughs> Yeah, ah, that's there you wants. go. She wants a telescope. Very cute. Box of chocolates and a telescope. I would say, you know what the easiest answer to this, to getting your point across? We respond really well as guys, uh, I would say, to getting crap is normally the best way to get us to change our ways. I don't think you have to go that far into it, but something as long as like, hey, oh, Valentine's Day is around the corner, can't wait for some more flowers and chocolate again this year. Like, that would <laughs> probably be enough for me to be like, true. forget you, man. I'll show you. <laughs> Not flowers and chocolate. Like getting the getting crap as a guy is the fastest way for to to make change happen. You know, yeah. it's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. It's actually, it's not like the wrong. Way, no, it's very real. That's an honest answer. Yeah. <laughs> so just it's bullying like, and harassment. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Emotional <laughs> knives. I hear you. Yeah. Actually, don't hate where your head's at on yeah. this one. Thank yeah. you. I'm a doctor. And <laughs> finally, a, a love doctor. That's right. Yep. And finally, love doctors, love doctors, you are the love gurus. Is there a time limit on apologizing? Because I'm tired of apologizing. About a month ago, a girl I dated almost a decade ago moved back into town. She's now engaged, but her dude was not moving for a couple of weeks after her. She called and asked if I could help her carry a few things because I'm the only person she knows in town anymore, and I did. She posted a picture of me carrying some stuff on social media and tagged me and said thanks for the help, but I hadn't mentioned it to my girlfriend that I was going to help her, and my girlfriend is furious. I feel like I've apologized about 50 times, but I keep having to apologize. At what point can I just be done saying I'm sorry? I wouldn't say I'm sorry more than like once or twice. Yeah. Like now you're done. Like you, She knows... That you're sorry. She's just got to work through her emotions. Like, stop saying I'm sorry. Because now, it, like, if you say it too many times, then she's just getting even more frustrated with Annoyed you. Annoyed by it. Right. Yeah. True. Yeah, that you, you did enough at this point. I'm also, I'm, I'm a little bummed with your girlfriend, too, at this point. Because 
I think you were trying to do something you thought was somewhat harmless and you were just going to go help somebody out. Yeah. Which, in your case, was probably a mistake if this is an ex of yours. Never not, help other people. Yeah. Not, oh, right. Yeah. Maybe not exes move in when their fiance is not around kind Fair. of thing. Uh, <laughs> but I think just you know, like kind of admitting that was dumb. And I'm really sorry about that. And if you mean it, which it sounds like you do, I think you've, like Mandy said, now at this point, it's probably just getting annoying. 